Yeah, welcome back to The Breakfast on PLUS TV Africa. Our final conversation today is about restructuring. There's been lots of calls about restructuring yes, and has. most importantly, different perspectives, you know, from different quarters about what restructuring okay, is yes. and should be. All right, we've invited uh, Victor Okai. He's a public affairs analyst and the president of the Doctors uh, Directors Guild of Nigeria. Uh, good morning, Mr. Okai. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. All right. So the talks and clamor for restructuring seems, you know, very broad and open to interpretation from uh, different people. Mr. Okai, can you hear me? I think we're trying to reconnect with him All again. Right. Uh, like you had said, uh, restructuring means a lot of different things to different people. Some people have talked about resource control. Some people have talked about state pollution, uh, state pollution rather. And others have said uh, restructuring should also mean devolution of power. You know, David Omai uh, was also in the news, a governor of Ebony State, and he's talked about uh -huh. uh, having six uh, vice, you know, vice presidents. We have Mr. Ohai back online. Mr. Ohai, can uh -huh. you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, so I'm saying this, right? Based on the different opinion people have about restructuring and what it should be, do you think we should have like a national education, you know, to enlighten people on what restructuring is and what it should be? But then again, I'd also like to hear your own opinion of restructuring. Well, um, right now, restructuring does appear to be a loose term that means different things to different people. Um, having an education, the only kind of education that is required right now is, if you like, regional education for people in various regions to decide for themselves what it is that they want for the Nigerian state. Because the truth is, what restructuring means to the southerner may be different from what it means to the northerner. Uh, restructuring, what it also means for probably a, a northern Christian, may be different from what it means to another Muslim. You know, there are so many factors and so many interests. You know, uh, the Constitution as it is presently, why not necessarily saying that there are flaws in it? Uh, the problem is, uh, the way the operators have implemented it uh, have created such um, dissatisfaction among the component uh, segments of the Nigerian state. And so, um, Whereas for, for certain people, restructuring may just be resource control. For others, um, it may just be that they want some sort of freedom. You know, uh, it may not necessarily be economical. It could even be a matter of security. Uh, and I give an example. Like a Northern Christian, for instance, would he want to be bound by Sharia laws? You know, and, 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 and things like that. So... Uh, there is the physical restructuring, which I guess it is you are trying to ask me about, which means, should we restructure along uh, geopolitical zones? Should we restructure along uh, the structures we had in the 1963 constitution, as many have advocated? So these are, so uh, it, 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 the, the thing about it is, it's not so much education as much as saying, what do the component parts want? And so, is, you know, they have to first decide it at the local level and have a proper position before they can articulate it effectively and argue it at a central uh, table, if you like. All right, uh, Mr. Ohai, uh, the governor of Ebony State uh, seems to have um, the issue of devolution of powers uh, in mind that when he mentioned that uh, uh, there should be uh, six vice presidents to you know, represent um, the sixth geopolitical zone. Now, this is in the wake of uh, you know, calls uh, for self-determination by some ethnic groups in Nigeria. Specifically, is that what we should be looking at at this particular time in our nation's history? biggest problem in this country today is economical. I'm not, apart from security, I'm not, I mean, in terms of the structuring, it is more about how the, how the national case is shared. If, it were, if people felt it was shared equitably, we probably would not have any problem. Frankly, when we had 12 states, nobody complained. You know? Uh, when we grew to 19, maybe because we were under military rule at the time, but again, with the 19, we moved into uh, civilian 
rule before we got back to the Apache era and then the states were multiplied. Uh, people didn't really complain. Where the complaint started was when, you know, uh, in sharing resources, it seemed like, you know, resources would come from one part to finance another, and then the people who are, who are you know, from where these resources are coming from are not getting any benefits from it. I'll give you a small example. Uh, look at what's happening. The gold in Zampara alone, the gold you have in Zampara, if the federal government decides today to tap it for the benefit of the state of Nigeria, what we have in Zampara is probably more than what is sustaining South Africa and probably more than what is sustaining Ghana. But no one is talking about it. All they're talking about is using this uh, mono product which is crude oil, and then you go there, there's environmental degree. Oh, seems to lost Mr. Okai yeah, there. Behind, yeah. But uh, he has actually said the bulk of it. Uh, well, most of our national leaders are just actually about, uh, you know, sharing of the national cake. Uh, they have economics in mind when it comes to restructuring and, of course, so what the nation should be doing. Yes, and, you know, he mentioned that you know, security is the first, you know, major issue. Mm. And one of my questions would be, if we're talking about devolution of powers, we're talking about restructuring, why are then our states, you know, opposing the president's statement when he said that his hands off security to state? I mean, isn't that the restructuring they want mm. to control state security in their state? Do you understand? In the wake of um, the regional security network exactly. that we have, the Amoteco, if you're talking about you want regional you security, you want state policing, you want you know restructuring. Now the president is saying, okay, I'm hand, I'm taking my hands off. You control that and make sure your states are secure. And states are really opposing that. So it makes you really wonder what exactly do they mean when they say restructuring? Because a whole lot still needs to be done. If you talk about uh, hands, uh, just uh, leaving security to the state level. If you look at our constitution, the policing in Nigeria is actually handled at the federal level. Exactly. So a whole lot so, needs to be done to even just, not just use a, a, a word, uh, just a show of words. So to verbally, just everything you know, pass the ball. You, you, know, you just don't do that, in my opinion, though. Wow. So really, restructuring is a very big issue. It Differ is. Different sides. I think you studied as a coach in school. <laughs> Just saying. Exactly. Also, um, also another very uh, interesting issue that um, David Dumai raised, in addition to um, saying that Nigeria should have six vice presidents. Mm -hmm. What? Well, first of all, I wonder, I, how, I that wonder how work. exactly how would that work? Six vice presidents. So the, each vice eight... president would just handle issues that have to do with, uh, you know, their particular zone, or how? Don't you think that would even raise more more conflict? Because how would each zone decide who exactly yeah, like, well, should like... rule? Or become vice there'll be president. No, there'll be lots of marginalizations, uh, you know, amongst. Uh, I mean, for instance, the would it be Enugu? Would it be an, um, Anambra, Abia, Imo, or even Ebony itself? And know? and in a, in a in a time where we're talking about the need for more development at the grassroots, you you know, you're looking at states in the rural areas and how badly developed they are. Mm. Umahi is also saying that local governments should be scrapped, and you're wondering, you know, so that's what restructuring that's all, means that's to him. That's also another aspect of restructuring, that, you know, the third tier of government, uh, because most times uh, they seem to be like, um, you know, an appendage of the state government, and uh, the state government just uh, pushes whatever, you know, they want, you know, to those particular arms of um, government. Mm. It's so, 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 so much. So really, this this is a conversation that wouldn't end in a short while. Hopefully like we can get... Like I started in school. Yes, hopefully we can get Ms. Halka back on this issue uh, once more in the future. But thank you very much for tuning into the Breakfast on Plus TV Africa this morning. Uh, we've been talking about security in Plateau State, restructuring of the entire country. Uh, gave you some top trending issues uh, regarding Chimamanda Ungozi Adichie yes. versus an up and coming writer. We told you about, um, you know, allegiance to Nigeria. Yes, would of you, course. Uh, would you, you switch your, you know, your citizenship for maybe a Swiss citizenship or United States For Nigerians. Yeah. For Nigeria. <laughs> of course, again, uh, the, the, the beauty uh, pageant uh, the lady who had done uh, the bloodstained uh, Nigerian flag. Yes, maybe we should put a poll. You know, if you had a sweet citizenship, would you, would you, you know, just live that for Nigerians? So mm. Let's know how many Nigerians <laughs> are really patriotic. All right, let's get the, the conversation nation. flowing over various uh, social media platforms. It is at Plus TV Africa. Yes, at Facebook and Instagram, and it's also at Plus TV Africa on our YouTube channel. Mm. Uh, do subscribe to that. I am Annette Felix. Thank you for being a part of our day. And I'm Justin Akademi. Many thanks for being a part of the show. We'll return again tomorrow. The news is up next. Stay with us.